What is up guys? Welcome back to a new video. So I just got home from work and I figured I could probably come out into the garage and get some stuff done on the Corolla. So the first option is to work on the hood of the A86 and that's actually right over there underneath that sheet. It's got some vinyl wrap on it. It's a flat black vinyl from 3M. I installed it years ago when I first got the car. So the vinyl wrap's gotta come off and we're gonna have to strip all the paint off of that hood and prep it with epoxy primer and high build so we can get ready for the painting process when I get to that point. Another item that I have to do is I have to finish the doors. So I still have to paint the inside portion of the door or at least around the jams. And uh, I also need to seam seal the whole door and the bottom portion of the door where the water drains out when it rains. So I need to take care of that as well. And of course, the last bit that I need to work on is this back section underneath the tail light on the car. It's a super frustrating body line to get right, especially for me since I'm not that good at body work. But I've got to get this OEM line straight and I've got to get this portion right here contoured right so it looks correct. Right now it's pretty close, but there's definitely room for improvement. But anyway, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do while I'm out here. So I'm assuming by now if the video is posted, the title says what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into that. <laughs> hurt so bad oh that's definitely not the right way to do it but uh that's how i did it <laughs> Alright guys, so I've run into my first problem on this hood. This skeleton structure is starting to separate from the skin of the hood. And you can really tell it like in places over here where I can push on that and it goes up and down. And you can just see like right there, it's starting to delaminate from the actual skin of the hood. The issue with that is when I start to sand, it's going to start bouncing in and out and I'm not gonna be able to get a nice flat level surface when I sand. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some seam sealer, I'm gonna clean up in these areas, and then I'm just gonna squirt some seam sealer inside here. I might put a little bit of weight on top of the skeleton to kind of push it back down in place, but hopefully this will work out pretty well and it won't distort the hood all that much. Right, guys so now we just have to wait a little bit i believe the work time for that stuff is about 10 minutes uh the time till paint i think is about 30 and if i remember correctly it's an hour to fully cure so i'm going to go ahead and just let this sit out here do its thing 
and we'll come out here and remove the weights and see if that did anything. It might not, but I'm just trying to stiffen up the hood a little bit so when I get to the sanding process on this thing, it's not gonna be dipping and waving every time I go to block sand. So we'll see how it turns out in about an hour. So it's been a little bit over an hour. Let's go ahead and take off all of these weights and see if this really did anything. Well, it's definitely not moving as much as it did. I don't know how long this will stay attached, but... Definitely seemed like it did something. Well, it's definitely not the prettiest fix, but I do think that it actually did kind of keep the skeleton secure to the skin of the hood. There doesn't seem to be nearly as much movement as there was earlier. So I guess for now that's good. As you can tell it's getting a little late outside and I actually work tomorrow so I can't stay out here super late. So I think the last thing that I'm gonna do out here tonight is uh, flip the hood over and then I'm going to basically outline the hood with some painters tape. This is gonna keep that chemical stripper from rolling over the edge and getting all on the seams of the hood underneath. Uh, I don't want any of that stripper stuff to get anywhere around there, so I'll just tape off the outside of the hood, and then I'll take a grinding wheel or some sandpaper and sand all of that off once I'm done stripping the hood. Hey guys, so we're back out in the garage. So let's go ahead and apply the paint stripper and get the paint off the hood. And before we get started, I'm really bad at safety stuff on here, if some of you all have noticed. Make sure when you're using this chemical stripper, wear some gloves and also a decent mask. You don't want to be breathing in all those fumes. They're really nasty and they can really mess with you. So be safe while using that kind of stuff. Have some gloves ready and a mask as well.
Hey guys, so I'm back in the garage. Uh, we're gonna tackle this hood again. I need to sand it down nice and flat because I got some serious orange peel when I was spraying the epoxy primer. I don't know if it had to do with the humidity in the air or my gun settings or something, but it looks awful. So I'm gonna sand it down with 120 and then we'll mix up some high build, throw it on the hood, and then I think we'll probably call that the video. All right guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it and maybe learned a thing or two as well. The hood's looking pretty good and the A86 is actually starting to look like a car again. But wait, don't click out of the video yet. I need to touch base on a couple of things real quick. The first thing, I didn't really go over it in the video, but if you are removing vinyl wrap, make sure you have some sort of heat source available. I used a torch. It makes removing the vinyl wrap a lot easier. And also when you're pulling the vinyl wrap away from the panel, Try to keep it under 15 degrees from the panel. That way the adhesive doesn't delaminate from the vinyl. It was kind of a pain for me. I had to use some silicone wax and grease remover as well as a razor to scrape all that adhesive off. Just take your time and don't pull it too crazy like I was in the video. Point two. I kind of flew through the bodywork process in this video just because I have other videos that I've already posted that go over the bodywork process a little more in depth. So if you all are new to the channel and have any questions on what I'm doing here body work wise, check out those videos. It should help you out quite a bit. But of course, if you all still have questions or comments on what I'm doing, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below or send me a direct message and I'll be sure to reply back and try to help out as best I can. And point number three, you all, the subscribers, you all have helped this channel grow from zero to 500 subscribers in a little bit more than half of a year. But not only that, being able to communicate with you all from all over the world is a really cool thing. And that's really what makes this platform, YouTube, so cool. Anyway, I just wanted to mention how appreciative I am of you all subscribing to the channel. Thank you all so much, I really do appreciate it. And last but not least, point number four. One of you all has been in contact with me on my Instagram. What Instagram? This Instagram? Oh, all right, cool. He's been working on a product for the AE86 and is pretty much done with the prototype. He's been kind enough to offer me this prototype and is gonna send it here so I can install it on the AE86. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on what it is just because I wanna save that for the video. But how freaking cool is that? Someone not even located in the United States is gonna be sending me something to install on the car. That's friggin' amazing. And I'm super excited for it. It's gonna be a really cool install. Okay, I'm done, you're done. Let's wrap this video up. If y'all are new to this channel and like this sort of content, please give me a thumbs up. Also, feel free to comment below and subscribe by clicking that button right on over there. As always, thank you all for your support and until next time, I'll see you later.